Some Honolulu police officers are now sporting a new piece of equipment. Starting today, patrol officers in downtown and Chinatown are required to wear body cameras. The department did a pilot project last fall, went through two different companies to find the right fit. Sarah Madison joins us live from HPD headquarters with more. Sarah. Marissa, police officers on Maui and Kauai are already wearing body cameras. Now, Honolulu police will be doing a slow rollout of cameras to a new batch of new officers each month. Currently, 35 body cameras are assigned to patrol officers in District 1. So hopefully as we start to roll it out, and our officers, the prosecutor's office, defense attorneys, the courts get used to the system, then maybe we can speed up the process and roll it out a little quicker. Officials are hoping in two years or less, all patrol officers should be equipped with body cameras. That's about 1,200 body cameras. That will cost about $1.5 million a year just for the video storage. They're required by our policy to turn them on and off each time they initiate a police um, enforcement encounter or they're sent to a case. Two taps on the center button, and when the button is pushed, it also captures 30 seconds before the recording was started. When they finish work and they go back to the station, they'll take their camera off and they'll put it into a docking station, which both charges the camera and gets it ready for their um, next shift and also uploads all the data to the cloud. Officers do not have the power to delete video. How long it's kept for depends on the case. Videos that are not tied to criminal cases are kept for a minimum of 13 months. If video captures use of force, then that will be kept for a minimum of three years. If they're tied into a criminal case, those would usually go the duration of the statutes of limitations and or whatever the adjudication process is. A couple of patrol officers we spoke to say they're still getting used to the body cameras, but feel transparency is good. I think people are going to be able to see exactly what we go through every day, and um, it's going to kind of cut out the he said, she said, and the hearsay. Not only bad ones or, or criminal, but also the good interactions. You know, I mean, it shows that we have, we care, and we have compassion too. You know, we don't get looked on a lot of times that way, and I think this can actually help us with that. To request access to videos from body cameras, you need to fill out an official request to access government records. And sometimes, depending on the situation, you may not get the whole clip. Marissa. Sarah, thank you. Now, as for the neighbor islands, 236 Maui police officers wear body cams, which is more than half their force. On Kauai, officials say the technology has helped clear them of wrongful accusations. This year, four complaints required an investigation through the video footage. Officers were cleared of allegations in three of the cases. The fourth is still pending. And the year before, there were 16 complaints. Officers were cleared in 14 of those cases.